How's your Star Wars? Oh, Jabba. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of How's Your Star Wars. My name is Eric, and this week I am very, very excited because I got this really awesome addition to my collection, to the PfeifferCon collection. This one is going to be one for the books, guys. And it has to do with a company called Anovos. Now, if you know about Anovos, you know they've had their issues in the past. They haven't necessarily been filling all the orders that they've got even years ago. Uh, but guys, when they get it right, they really get it right. Now, here's a couple other things that I got from Anovos before I do my unboxing. I have this really cool ooh, Anovos box, and I'm going to open it for you guys today. Um, but this is actually my very first Anovos helmet. So when The Force Awakens was coming out, I'm in the 501st, and I actually applied to get this armor through Anovos uh, for Celebration, the first time that they revealed this armor. And I missed out on that, and so I was part of their beta launch for the First Order Stormtrooper. So this was my helmet that I got from Anovos with my kit. And um, this is awesome. This is fiberglass. There's a really good weight to it. Um, and I actually do put this on my head. It's, uh, you know, part of my costume. So even though it's fiberglass and it has a good weight to it, it's, it's um, a lot heavier than plastic, but it's still great for costumes. And uh, if you've seen any of the last uh, How's Your Star Wars videos that I've done, uh, we did one on building clone helmets. So I've been really getting into helmets lately. Um, and you can see on the inside, everything is completely um, padded. So my head fits in here very nicely. Um, and I guess it's probably kind of hard to see, but um, you can see out of the lenses, of course, um, up until about here. And then you can't see anything below you. So sorry, kids. Um, but yeah, this is, this is awesome. Um, so I love the quality and the craftsmanship that goes into this stuff. Like I said, when a Novos gets it right, they get it right. Um, this is another piece of, uh, uh, costuming gear that I got and I, I didn't bring the entire ensemble down, but as you can see, it's from a Novos and this is Ray's scavenger ensemble from the force awakens. And I picked this up. I actually ordered it on, um, St. Patrick's day of this year, right before quarantine, they had an unbelievable sale. It was like 25% off all in stock items. And for items that are expensive like this, that's a good chunk of money. Um, so I don't have a mannequin for this yet, but uh, the ensemble is up in my Ray room right now, just waiting to be displayed. And I mean, you can just see that they got the, the detail right on there. Um, you know, they've got the leather belts and all that. Um, you know, the fabric dyed to look like she was in the sand and all that great stuff. Um, so like I said, you know, they do some really great work. So that's upstairs, and then of course my First Order Stormtrooper. But now let's dig into my newest piece to the collection. And I will start off by saying that this was something that I was on a payment plan for. So I've been paying sort of over time to get this. Um, and we did get this in at my store, the Collector's Outpost, where I work. Um, and so I opened one for the store, but this is me opening mine on my own. Uh, for the for the collection here as well. Um, so I will say uh, it's packed with this styrofoam, which is very nice. Uh, this is that one sort of like a hard styrofoam. And then we have this soft styrofoam and guys, it works, but I hate these little these little peanuts. Um, but you know, got to do whatever it takes to, to kind of uh, protect it when you're transporting it. So there may be a, a peanut avalanche here. We'll see. I'm trying not to show you guys yet what this is. So it's in a bag. I'm gonna have to take it out of this bag. All right, guys, are you ready for this? This is very exciting. Like I said, I've been into helmets lately, so maybe you can guess what this is. Three, two, one this is the mandalorian helmet 
from the Disney Plus series, The Mandalorian, and this is awesome. This is like an exact replica of his helmet. Again, this is made of fiberglass, just like my First Order Trooper helmet. These are all hand-painted, so take a look at that detail. You can see kind of the rust and sort of like the, the grime and the weathering that they put in there. Um, the shine, I mean, you guys can probably see the room I'm recording in through the helmet, and that is accurate to the show. I mean, you remember seeing some of those Trandoshans jump over um, the ravine through his helmet in one of the earlier episodes, um, but this is an exact replica of Din Djarin's helmet from The Mandalorian. You can see all the detail, you can see in the T-visor and everything as we continue to go back. The detail on the back is just... It's just amazing what they've done with this. Of course, you have the inside, it's padded. Um, you can see the little Anovos sort of logo there. Um, and these are wearable. Um, of course, I'm a collector, don't wanna wear this uh, for the price I paid for it. it. It should be, you know, admired from afar. Um, but what's great about this is that if you do wanna wear this around, um, it does come not only with the padding that's, that you can see on the inside here, but also this padding as well. So this is this can go on the inside. And it looks like we've got some like, um, they're all Velcroed. So this goes like on the top. You can just Velcro this up on the top and it'll fit perfectly. Um, and then you have other padding, these ones for the sides and things like that. So if you want to get that really comfortable fit, you can add these in the way that you would want them to be added in, uh, whatever way is comfortable for you. So this is absolutely perfect, um, but I think it would not be a true collectible if I at least didn't try it on once, right? So I'm gonna do that right now. Excuse the bedhead, guys. This is uh, not something I usually do in the mornings, uh, but I'm gonna just put this on right now. So feel free to put in your own sound effects. I have the child. This is the way. All right, guys. So if you are uh, enjoying these videos and want to share with us how your Star Wars is, we would love to hear from you. Please, using the hashtag, how's your Star Wars, let us know how your Star Wars is lately. It could be anything. It could be something that you got in the mail, a new Star Wars collectible. It could be that you went to a, a local event at a comic book store. It could be that you read a book. It could be that you played a video game. And if you've seen Amanda play the Pod Racer game on our last episode, um, you should feel pretty confident about your abilities. Sorry, Amanda. Um, but yes, we want to know how your Star Wars is. So using the hashtag, how's your Star Wars in the comments or wherever you want, just tag us, let us know how your Star Wars is, and we'll get back to you guys, uh, and support what's going on in your life with Star Wars. Thanks a lot, guys. And as always, may the force be with you. This is the way. <laughs>